The Substance Abuse and Suicide Prevention Program is a national effort focused on substance misuse, suicide prevention, and intervention resources for Indian Country. This program used to be called the Methamphetamine and Suicide Prevention Initiative. This initiative is making a positive difference in Indian Country. How? By promoting evidence-based, practice-based, culturally appropriate models and strategies to build resilience, promote positive development, and increase self-sufficiency among American Indians and Alaska Natives. The SMART Moves program, which stands for uh, Skills, Mastery, and Resilience Training, is a prevention and education evidence-based program, and it's put together to address problems such as drug abuse, alcohol use, and premature sexual activity. Young people ages uh, 6 through 15 engage in types of discussions, um, role-playing, participating in resilience and refusal skills, developing assertiveness, uh, strengthening and decision-making. And then our Meth Smart program um, is an evidence-based program as well, um, and it teaches youth about the dangers of consuming meth, um, how to recognize the signs of meth use, we really wanted to address the rampant drug issue um, we were seeing in our community, specifically methamphetamines um, and along with suicide. We additionally did add a behavioral component so that we could work with our children and explicitly at-risk children. So we gear much of our uh, curriculum toward early intervention and education of those issues. The benefit of having the program at the Boys and Girls Club means we are able to maintain really first-hand interaction with an already established evidence-based program, thereby giving us access to youth and families. Some successes that we have seen as a result of our MSPI program is an increase in students' overall GPA, an increase in respect for self and others, um, an increase in the perception of social support that, that they receive. We have also seen a huge decrease in risk-taking behaviors such as delinquency, absenteeism, um, drug-seeking behaviors, and suicidal tendencies. I feel like the MSPI program wouldn't be possible without of course, our, our huge cultural foundation. Some of the behavioral health issues we saw in the beginning were uh, a lot of children with uh, a lot of anger issues, older teens that were, um, you know, just refusing to listen to the adults in the community. Behavior health plans and how they tie into smart moves is uh, the behavior plans are written for families and children. They're designed to build a consistency between people in these children's lives so we can improve behaviors and decrease the behaviors that are more aggressive. I do about four to five groups a week here at different age groups, teaching them how to relate to each other, how to, um, how to express their feelings without being aggressive, express themselves without taking it out on other people and be okay with who they are. We have families that have three or four siblings that come here and all the kids are starting to grow and be more successful and just improve in so many areas. We have currently 260 students enrolled. We are seen as like the safe haven for community youth. We want to make sure that we're open always and we provide a safe place for kids to be. Some of the changes that I've noticed that the Smart Move has made and brought to the table are bringing awareness uh, to our youth about the, the issues that's going around, not only in our community, but in every surrounding community. The Miss Smart program has really done a lot with bringing awareness to our youth on the, the bad effects and the ramifications of doing drugs and doing this. And we have to put something in place to show them that there is an alternative lifestyle to drugs. And I think what the meth program has done here was tremendous in showing them just that. What this has done is it stepped up and has brought us a curriculum and, and some resources 
that is going to allow us to expand and elaborate and give control to our community and our people. Tribal leadership supports these programs and our children will soon learn that this is not their way of life. Tribal Council wants to support that 100% so they are our future. They will be the leaders for our tribes tomorrow.